doing today? I'm Big D. Thanks for stopping in. We're going to continue with the Les Paul build kit. And the first thing we could do before we glue in the neck, we're going to check to make sure that it is in line so the strings will not be hanging off one side of the neck or not. So we're going to go through that process. But before we get to that level, I'm going to go through the center uh, of, the, of the frets, and I'm going to use a um, 0 .008 feeler gauge. And I'm going to see if I can slip it into underneath any one of these. Now, one thing I need to point out. You have to use the truss rod to straighten as straight as possible this neck before this happens. Otherwise, it will be, <laughs> you're going to have uh, some gaps. So make sure it's straight as possible. Now we're all set with that. I'm very happy with that. Um, I will have to probably do a little crowning after I level the frets. But they're in excellent shape. I will not have to take off a lot of material. I'm going to turn it back a little bit. It is where we check alignment. Now these posts, I'm not going to put in place. I am just using them for a guide. I'm going to set the, <clears throat> the bridge in place. And for this point, I don't really care about the what string gauge I'm using. It is just for a guide. Now I'm going to want to run this down and get a an eye level this direction to make sure the string will not hang off in either direction and it has a straight line. And I've already done this. I'm just showing you how I did it because I can't use the camera and show you in that direction because I couldn't set up the camera that way I don't have the the high-end uh, equipment yet down the road maybe so again you do the low A string and look straight down from this direction all the way to the nut. Make sure that everything is in line. Moving on to the gluing in of the neck. So I've already made a couple of pieces. These are going to be placed over the frets and then again underneath the the body and I also have a little piece which goes down into this area and that will be a clamping block as well this is my opinion one of the most important I've already done this, but I'm going to show you how I did it. When you feel this area, when you first get these kits, they're going to be rough in texture. You're going to find glue down in these areas, down through this crack. Make sure there's no excessive wood that's left over in any of these areas. Both sides. Make sure there's no binding that's laying over because I always put a little glue here and where it matches up here, it will actually help glue this point and 360 degrees around here. Same thing with this, 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 along with this. So what I do is I take a brand new razor blade, very inexpensive, and you start from the edge 
the very corner and just scrape. You do the same with the edges, down in here, 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 everywhere possible. Make sure there's no fibers. You want it smooth, but not, I wouldn't recommend sanding it unless you have a tight, tight uh, joint. You want as much glue in there, but you also don't want a sloppy joint. I hope that, hope it kind of makes sense right there because when this goes in, you want it to go in with a little resistance and then stay in the same position and give you a little fight coming out. Too loose, there's going to be too much glue in there. Too tight, not enough glue. You want the glue to work, but let it do its job. Uh, another thing I want to point out, I am using Type Mon Original. This is, this could swell. Uh, it's water soluble, so it could swell the wood. You want enough glue on the uh, both sides, both sides of the joint, the body, and then also another amount of glue on your neck. You have a few minutes of work time, so I recommend you prep your surface so it moves along quickly. So what I did was I use some paper so there isn't any mess, but I use a couple of two by fours, cover it with the paper, and now it gives me an area where there's gonna be a channel where I can slip the, the clamps into and I won't have any issues. Probably a good idea to dry fit it. Make sure you got an idea where every um, clamp is going to go before you do the process. And like I said, it's going to swell the wood a little bit. Being water soluble, water and wood, <laughs> they don't always uh, do well together. So now that everything is cleaned and you're going to want to blow this off as much as possible. If you don't have air gun, then um, you can buy the uh, can air, or air in a can, which this is called dust off. It works pretty well. So I get some paper towels, get a few of them, set them to the side, get out of your way, have a little cup of water, set that out of the way. You're going to want to be ready, like I said, before you get this process going, you don't want too much open time. Start prepping your pieces of wood. Now I use a little brush. Open it up, squirt a little bit in the bottom. Sorry that the camera is not showing you, but you'll get the idea. And you're going to apply in an upward direction. You want to be uh, generous with the glue. And if it looks dry and it's soaking in a little bit, don't be shy to put more. Don't forget, it's going to seal in this area here, right on the top edge. And you can wipe it off. That's what the water and, and paper towels are for. Okay, after you believe you have it 
glued as well as you uh, would like. Just double check. Make sure you got enough glue. Most important, enough glue. And go back to your body. Double check. Remember when you push this down in, it's gonna squeegee this down. So you might wanna have some towards the top as well. Be careful not getting any glue in this area because you're gonna have to sand it off if you're gonna stain it. Push it in and push it down. Wipe off the residual as much as you can. Again, it'll be a lot less later on that you have to clean up. Push down this way one more time. Make sure it's fully seated in this direction. The first one I'm going to do is the mini block. Okay, now uh, spend some time cleaning up more and more of the glue that you do not want.
So that's it. Now, I say that I am not considered a luthier, but I have made many, many guitars, and this is how I do it. If uh, this helps you, please leave a, leave a comment below, and um, if you think I can learn from thing, something that you might have uh, done in your past, let me know. Have a great day. God bless America. See you on the next uh, episode.